Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for April the 9th of 2020, well, it is titled A Flow of Time. So what do we see here? Well, this is a, not a single image, but actually a combination of images blended together. And what we see on one side is the nighttime sky before the beginning of dawn, in this case, before about 4.30 in the morning. And we see that on the right-hand side, and there we can clearly see our own Milky Way. And the Milky Way is our own galaxy as we see it from within. And we see the dark dust lanes and the star clouds that are associated with our own galaxy. Now on the other side, on the right and towards the right, uh, sorry, on the left and towards the left of center, we see the sunrise. And the sun is rising, that is closer to about 7 a.m. So this whole thing took place, a couple of images, over the course of about two and a half hours. And we can therefore see the sun just rising off over the horizon and beginning to illuminate uh, the river valley here taken out in New Mexico. And actually in between, another image was taken of the what was called the blue hour. Now the blue hour is what the time when the sky is blue and the sun is still below the horizon. So it's that early part of just, uh, just at dawn, but before sunrise. So the sun will be below the horizon, but enough sunlight is sneaking around into the atmosphere to make it blue. And that was used to kind of blend the other images together. So you have the sunrise image, you have the dark night sky image, and then the blue hour image used to blend them together to give a scene that shows us all of this at once. Now, as you might imagine, this also involves exposures of different lengths of time. They would not have been taken at the same lengths of time, which is one of the things we looked at yesterday when looking at the uh, night sky and the sky brightness in various regions. Here, they would be very shorter images, much short image, shorter images taken of the sunrise because you would not need a very long exposure to pick up uh, the detail then with so much light available and very, very long exposures to pick up the detail in the Milky Way. Because after you've been out to a dark site to see the Milky Way, it looks nothing like what you see here. And that is because when you can leave the camera open for a longer period of time, you're able then to pick up more detail, pick up fainter things than your eye would possibly be able to see. So a much longer exposure there, and of course you could do that because it was much darker. That was long before sunrise or even before dawn began, so that you had very dark night skies there, able to pick up a lot of detail in the Milky Way, and then combine it with the image uh, of the sunrise to get our picture for today. So that was our picture of the day for April the 9th of 2020. It was titled, A Flow of Time. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a full moon of northern spring. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.